What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, back more diecast, and today we're going to be unboxing, reviewing the very first 2024 Matchbox Action Driver set. This is the Matchbox Farm Adventure. The set looks awesome, it's got a ton of detail, moving parts, and sound. I'm really excited to get into this one, so let's do it. All right, it's crazy to think that we're already through the 2023 sets and moving into 2024. I'm filming this in October of 2023, and as a, like, general action driver discussion on the YouTube page and like on social media, we expected there to be more 2023 sets going into the holiday season here, but no, we kind of got surprised with the first for 2024. The good news is they're continuing the line. We are getting a little nervous because we weren't hearing a lot about the line. There was no previews at the Matchbox Collectors event or the Hot Wheels event. There was nothing really online and then boom, this kind of popped up out of nowhere. So it's cool. And again, thank you to everyone. I'll try to give you shout outs uh, right here boop, boop, with usernames and stuff um, who helped me hunt this down. Uh, I ordered this off Amazon. It was available now in October. It was $26.99 plus tax. So if this is retail, it'll probably be the $24 to $25 mark. Uh, it could be that full $26, but it has a lot of detail. This is one of the middle size sets to larger sets. It's about a uh, 14 inch box by probably a foot tall, um, pretty thin though. It's, so it's not got a lot of depth, but it has a lot of actions to it. So there you can see uh, the little try me. We have a hard day ahead of us. So it comes with a lot of different like announcements. It has farm animal noises, tractor noise. It's got a little bit of everything. So uh, this is one of the, they've kind of gone back to putting the plastic on the package, which I think is interesting because before they were doing um, like all of 2020, well, most, right? Yeah, I think all of 2023 had the cardboard on the outside to where you couldn't see the car because uh, Matchbox is doing like a little green thing. Now the plastic preview window is back. So you can see uh, some of the farm animals. It's got the Tractor King, which is Matchbox Fantasy Tractor, and then a very uh, cheap looking trailer, but we'll get into that later. There you can see all the card art the box art and there you can see all the details it's got moving parts sounds more moving parts and animals it's got some of the pressure switches we've um begun to know and love through that through the action driver's line um, some tillable crops and it does have that ever important locking and interconnectable base so there you can see the base completed um so on the box the previews we can see here there is a set right here that appears to be new because it looks like the front of the police station to me, um, but it's not. So they also show it right here on the box. So there, if you can get a little closer look, I'm not sure. It almost looks like it says police. Uh, like I could see it being a post office or something else, but to me, it uh, looks like there is a some kind of radar or something on the top. I can't quite make out what that sign says, uh, but it is a smaller set, like the size of the Pizza Hut and the FedEx, um, that only has one side of connectable bases and then that center. So it's the layout of the Pizza Hut, but it goes two levels, which we have not seen in the single square like that before. So that set is a little bit of a mystery. The other set is the construction play set, uh, which we already have and I did a preview on. And there is the farm one. So that one kind of threw me for a loop. I don't know. Let, let me know in the comments what you think that set is or if you found it online because um, neither myself or the people that I communicate with normally about these sets have been able to find that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So um, I'm really excited about this one. Uh, I was hoping, I, I was getting nervous that we weren't going to get sets for 2023 or 2024. There was no previews. I reached out to some of my like uh, lamely writer friends who have like contacts at Matchbox. Uh, nothing really came of it. I didn't really hear anything, uh, but then this showed up. So I'm, I'm super thankful for it because I love farm toys. I used to play with uh, Ertl toys and some, I collect the green light down on the farm set. So this is a really welcome set. I'm excited about this one. So there you can see it has a dirt style base with some, uh, looks like there's some corn, possibly some beans in there. Uh, so this is a new style base. We haven't got this dirt style base outside of the construction site. So this is going to be um, some new parts for us. So that's really cool that it has that. Another ground. Let's see. So it's got some dirt, pretty standard stuff, some tire marks. Same thing on that one. So it does look like ooh, a little pressure switch spot right there or some uh, ornamental I don't know, crops or animals go right there. There is the big part of the base. So there are each of the stalls for the animals. You can see the troughs out front. And it almost looks like hay bales right here are the pressure switches. So there you can see that the farmer moves 
and does, I don't know exactly what he's doing, maybe throwing some hay bales or some food in the troughs. Uh, there you can see a little pitchfork, another hay bale over here. That is a pressure, pressure, pre oh my gosh, pressure switch as well. Look at the little farmer. Got his little uh, Bo Duke shirt on, got his little hat. Awesome, I'm so pumped to see this assembled. So again, if you're new to these sets, they're very easy to assemble. They have a uh, pegged, uh, like the uh, parts, the pegs on them all have like connectors. So there you can see, you know, it goes to A, B, whatever. So they're very easy to assemble. I cannot say enough good things about this set. So there is the front of the barn with a nice matchbox on it. Again, these just will snap in place. Uh, that looks like the side of the barn. Oh, this is a cool piece. Okay, let's look at this. So this is the like tillable crops here. So this is a front like part of a combine harvester. And as it goes through, it knocks over the uh, what look like wheat or grain. And then as it comes back up, it kind of pulls it back up and then you get to do it again. So that's kind of cool. And on the box, they actually show a tractor like you can push the tractor front end. Um, so it's kind of like it fits the part. And that is actually a sticker. So that is a wheat or a grain sticker on there to give it more um, more detail, which I like, and it's less parts you have to put together, and that is quite a big sticker. So it's nice that Matchbox puts that on there so you don't screw it up, um, and then you don't have to put this extra stuff together because it is screwed together, which is nice. I don't think we've ever had to screw anything in to an action driver base, maybe for the volcano, but I don't think so. So that's nice to do that. There you can see there's some like wood planks, the grass. I mean, this is a really nice piece. There's a lot of detail on this and I like that they have multiple colors on one piece too. So, all right, let's see what else. This looks like the barn, the roof barn, the barn roof. What am I, I'm saying it backwards today. It's been a long day. Um, there are some more interlocking uh, street pieces. That's cool. It has a matchbox sewer lid. I don't remember seeing that on other ones, but I could, could be mistaken, but that might be new. And then there's another piece with a little sewer right there. I think that might be new. I think those sewer details might be new. So um, that is all the parts. And then I need to get the front of the uh, barn out and then I'm gonna pop this off. So I'm gonna pause it real quick, do that because I have to like tear some stuff up and it takes too long and I'll be right back. Okay, as for taking these off, they're super simple. They're in with these really easy paper-based uh, tie down. So here is the front of the barn uh, with the little crowing rooster right there, which is the, uh, the sound portion. And it comes with the little sound box right here. And this is how you change the battery. So that's pretty cool. Also comes with a little tractor. Uh, this is the uh, trailer for it, but it it does seem very cheap. Like, I don't know why they just couldn't have put regular Matchbox wheels on it, um, but it does look very farmy, but it looks very, uh, I will say cheap. But as I roll it, like I rolled it, it does seem solid. It doesn't seem like it's going to break. Um, you can see the axles are not kept in as as tight, but this is not like a a NASCAR or a race car. This is a slow moving uh, tractor trailer. So it has the little matching. Let's see if we can go in there like this. Is that how it goes? Let's see, I think that's how it goes. I'm gonna double check here. Do a little sideways action. There it goes and it sticks in like that. So that's how it uh, connects is basically you just shove it in there. Um, and there you have the tractor and the trailer completed. So. I wish they would have put a little more detail on the trailer now that I see it connected to the tractor, but it's not bad. Again, this is a very affordable set, and for play value, that's that's just fine. So then it also came with two hay bale, um, just like loose parts that you can probably stack up in the trailer. Um, it came with the cow, whoop, the little calf, or no, that's a goat. Looks like a goat there getting milked, it looks like. And then that's definitely the cow is getting milked. And then the horse, and look, my horse didn't get an injected head. This is like a Godfather version of a horse. Like, do you see how kind of jacked it is? This one, for some reason, it didn't get uh, injected molded all the way. So it's missing like half of the back of it. And then it's missing the head. So this is really the first messed up thing that I ever got in an action driver set. And it ended up being a molded injected horse, which is part of the set because there you can see. Um, but I'm going to have to get another one now or see if Mattel will... Uh, replace this one because that's definitely not a uh it's not a show horse that's for sure it's not winning any awards or probably walking so i don't know i don't know what happened there but the other two animals look okay so we'll go ahead and uh put those together and these are like molded rubber um they're like molded injected rubber whatever so they're kind of pliable same with the horse but the horse is actually harder i don't know there must have been something going wrong with that batch 
So I have no idea. So there is the windmill too. I forgot to show that. And then let's see what else. So this is usually uh, the internal parts like different signs and other things. So let's see what we got here. So that looks like a slide for probably the bales of hay or straw. That is a connector piece um, for the barn uprights. There is the barn door and what looks like another piece of the barn roof. So I will show you the instructions along with the sticker sheet. So this one is black and white instructions. Ah, and there is the sticker sheet. So it's got a nice farm. It's got the farmer graphic in there that looks like water for the troughs. Uh, those look like solar panels to me. Um, I'm not sure what some of the, the, I mean, grass, typical stuff. So let's see where these go. One, two. Yeah, so these are solar panels that go on the roof right here. So that's kind of cool. They integrated solar panels on that. So nice. Okay. Well, let me, I'm going to go ahead and put the stickers on and I will be right back. That way I don't mess them up. Okay. So I just got done putting all the stickers on. Um, everything went together fine. Um, there is a few things different about these stickers than there are from the normal action driver set. So I noticed with these stickers, there's actually a margin um, of room around about every sticker I put on. So they're not, I don't want to say they're not exact fit, but it used to be like if you lined up the sticker with this corner, then it would fit center with the rest. That is not true on this set. So you can see, let me see if I can figure out which one. So I don't know if you can see this, but I lined this one up with this corner and look at the big margin um, of room on the outside of that sticker. So with the next one, I moved it over slightly, the margin um, got better and the same with that one. So you want to actually center this sticker rather than put it to a corner um, or a bottom or anything like that because they will be off if you do that. You can see there the farm, all the margin is equal almost around it. But if you lined it up at the top, you'd end up with a huge margin up top or on either corner. So that is a little bit different um, on this set. And it did come a little bit like it was a little tricky on some of these because you have to like make the margins yourself there. I kind of got a little close there. It just depends on how picky you are with your stickers. I like to put my stickers on straight as possible. Um, so that is just something I noticed. So a heads up to you guys and something I wanted to point out. There are three different trough, like water trough stickers. And the cool thing about it is these are all different. So you can see the graphics on them are different. It would have been so easy for Mattel slash uh, Matchbox to make these all the same. It just put them together. That would have been so easy, but they made them all different, which makes a huge difference because now it looks more realistic. So even though these are toys, they are catering to the collector and other people who notice that stuff. Um, which is awesome. I really think that's cool because they could have easily went cheap, just made them all three the same, but no, they put the extra work to give you three different stickers. So that is rad. I just wanted to point that out because these sets just keep getting better and better. And I love that about them. So, okay. So I just want to show you the instructions in case you lose yours. So there, if you want to um, pause it, you can at least have a reference of the directions to put them together. And then same thing with the back here. Let me show you the back. So there is the final instructions, just in case uh, you lose yours or yours doesn't come with it. And there's a little bit, I guess, the uh, disassembly, recycle. There's all the parts, all that good stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this beast. Okay, assembly, number one. It is uh, this piece and then the base, just like that. So these are super easy to connect, like you can even do it in the air. So there you can see it's even getting bigger right there. All right, and then next up, we have the C piece, which connects right there, right there. So this thing has some good area. Like, look how big that is already. It's not even complete. And then, let's see what else. Okay. They want you to do, oh, yeah, the trough piece. Where is that? Okay. So that one goes here. The trough piece, or not the trough piece, the, uh, the crop piece goes right here on the corner. And then we have the final ground piece boom so i'm gonna put this down so i can snap it all together there it is so you have i mean look at that you probably have over a foot by over a foot it's probably at least a foot by a foot so it's a pretty good play space look at that there's just like if you want to do some like dukes of hazard driving around a lot that would be excellent for that might have to buy another one of these farms and then kind of set this base next to it. And you could have a giant farm. I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy a couple more of these and do that. Do a giant farm because that looks awesome like that. So 
Okay, next up, they want you to add the windmill with the awesome Matchbox Farm and the rooster, the chicken over there. Snaps into place right here, which also I wanted to point out is cool. Let me pull that back out real quick. Um, but they put holes in the sticker for the, the actual windmill and the signpost, which is awesome because, again, they didn't have to do that and they did as an extra like to make it that much nicer for you so all right next up we have the animals so the animals just kind of stick in they have this like little peg at the bottom and then they just kind of stick in like this and then that way you can also move them to whatever position but i'm just going to match uh the box or the actual like instruction art so you just snap them snapping on my horseless head here or headless horse there you go. Okay. So there they are right there, all fitted. Got the farmer looking good so far. And then next up, uh, oh, I forgot one more thing. This area over here. So these are um, like, a, I guess you would call this just like a little um, shade. So you're going to take this. It goes like this. So this side down, like, like kind of tiered down like that. Then these go... In each of these and it goes just like that into place so it's just that easy to snap in there you can see it's all level blah 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 looking good though look at that got some shade for the farmers all right let's see what else okay so next up is the street piece this is goes right here snaps into place and I'm gonna go ahead yeah the next step is to put the other piece of the street on so that is quite large. Um, it probably won't even fit in the whole frame. Nope, it won't. It's it's nice. This is a good size set. Uh, probably the same size as the car wash, like that, like a mid-tier set or one of the larger sets. But this is cool. I actually liked it without the road, just with the dirt. I, I thought it was kind of cool with just the dirt. But now this is the like this is how you get it to connect too. So now it'll connect to stuff. But you don't see a ton of... Uh, farms connected to cities like that but either way it'll connect to whatever you want you can connect it to like the uh canyon adventure or the rock i can't remember what the other one was it, but it'll connect to some of the outside ones that'll make that'll look a little bit better so then next up take this piece and then the slide right here goes which way does it go it goes this way just like that snaps on so there's there's that piece and then this where does this go i'm looking all right hang on okay so you don't assembly assemble this part yet so then you take the sound part and you slide the door in like this so that's how you oh, so that's the pressure switch for the sound is actually closing the barn door, closing and opening it. All right? Is it going to work? Maybe or maybe not. It probably will once I put it in like a like a spot because I think that's what that is, right? Another beautiful yeah. day on Matchbox Farm. Oh, so the actual, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll assemble it. I don't want to say how to, how it works so far, but you're supposed to put the door in that way. So, so there's the door closed. And then that piece goes right here on the base. So let me get a little bit closer. Goes right there on the base. Sticks in, sticks in very nice. Okay. And then... Do this side, which is just, oh, let's look at the detail on the back of this. So there's a fire extinguisher in the corner. I don't know what that is up in the corner. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, little lights. There you have a rope or a hose tied up, a shovel, a bucket. So there's detail even on the inside, which is awesome. And again, super easy to put together. And then you have the barn. So the barn goes this way or the roof. Let's see if they'll just snap in place, I think. Oh, let's see. So it goes inside there. Is that connected? You know you got to connect it when you can lift it by the piece. Okay. And then this part right here is the back of the barn. So that slides in right there. Cool. 
Okay, so let's see what else. So it's saying there is something. Oh, it's saying for that part right there that we just assembled, there's a tab. And then that tab goes in behind it. Um, oh, which I think I actually did wrong. Let's see. There it goes, just like that. So when you put that wall together, the correct fit right there is to have that piece in between this wall and then there's an inner wall there. So no room in it, no air, like no light can get through right there. So that's how you know if you assembled it correctly. So man, that looks awesome. Look at that. Super cool. And I think that's it. Is that the last one? It is. So that is it totally assembled. Move this over here so you can see it a little better. So that's it. We have this huge over a foot of play space. Tons of dirt driving. Got some parking over here. It's even got like a little log for parking so the cars don't roll over. A little rock separator. Got the farmer detail. Really nice barn. So the barn, that's like technically would be the front of the property with the sign and the windmill. So let's move this over. So how you make the sound is probably... Let's get to work. That one. So you... Oh, nice. So you hit the hay bale right here, or you drive over it, and then it will make noise. Howdy. Howdy. Rise and shine. We have a hard day ahead of us. Another beautiful day on Matchbox Farm. Let's get to work. Rise and shine. We have a hard day ahead of us. Let's get to work. So they seem kind of randomized. Where's the tractor noise? Howdy. Another beautiful day on Matchbox Farm. Or did the tractor noise go with the door? No? Let's get to work. There it goes. Cool. Nice. Okay, so there you heard all the different noises. It probably has about six or seven different, oh, I didn't put that down all the way. Six or seven different noises um, that it makes. So that is a little hay bale slide. So let me go ahead and look at the directions in terms of how to play with this thing. Okay, so first it says you drive over, make the noise. We've already seen that. Um, yeah, to hit the little pressure switch, which shoots the uh, rooster out with the crowing. Then it says you can, oh, you can take the uh, animals off and transport them in the trailer as well as the hay bales. Um, there is the, the, like the plow part, which we'll kind of touch on. There you can drive over the pressure switch by the troughs. What is that one? Low hay bales into the trailer. So this is how, okay, so we'll play with it a little bit. Okay, so it's saying whoop, to drive the tractor, open the door. Whoop. So let me see if I can, here it goes. So you drive the tractor in like this and then line it up, which it has slots in the floor. I don't know if you can see those four divots on um, where the trailer goes. And then when you do that, it has a perfect spot for the hay bales. So then take the hay bales up. I'll try to do this in, in camera view here. So you take the hay bale and whoop, put it right there goes into the trailer, put another one, and kind of sloppily went in the trailer, but then you can pull it out and you can move it around all you want, but there you go. Oh, that's awesome. It even has like the little, like the, the track of the tractor that it just drove on match the, um, like the marks in the base. So that looks super cool. Like look how cool that looks. That looks awesome. So then to plow the field, let's see, let's push it all the way back do that and then you put the front of the tractor against it which fits very nicely and then you just push Pshh. gotta put oh do i need to push oh come on is it working oh there it goes i'm holding it up in the air if you can see so that's why it's not working as as smooth oh, as i probably would like it to but let me back it back out and then we'll try it again so you put the trailer up there go over it go over it okay so you do have to lift it up just a little to get over the um the other like the grain here but once you do that you can kind of it works pretty it works okay it's not the best see why does it work so well there let's try it again okay so you want to you want to kind of load the trailer or the the tractor a little bit forward and almost like hold the front up a little bit so you can like 
clear the the pegs of each of the the rows there but it looks pretty good and then this would be the another pressure switch right here which you would drive over hey there oh snap it has more it's time to harvest the wheat oh cool easy on the tractor <laughs> whoa there fella we need you to feed the animals Animals aren't going to feed themselves. <laughs> Don't forget to move those hay bales. <laughs> it's time to feed the animals. Man. So I just went through and clicked them all. This set has over a dozen, I would say almost 20 different sound uh sound bites between the i didn't realize this one made the sound too which is cool so there are two sound switches that hit different parts of the box to make different sounds so the sounds that come from here are not the same that come from here so this is the lady voice with tractor sounds and then this is the the man voice with uh animal sounds and tractor sounds so that is really really cool Again, they make these sets better and better. So now we have a huge farm set with two different sound haptic buttons. Very, very cool. So that, I mean, that is awesome. So I will need to do a giant um, video on these very soon because people keep asking me about it, especially now that we have 2024. I don't know where my other uh, hay bale went. I think I already dropped it somewhere. Um, I'll have to find that. Um, after now that we have 2024 i'll need to do a giant video of all of them connected um to try to show how they can be connected and which ones connect to each other because some of the earlier sets had a little bit different peg style on the streets um but this one seems to have i don't remember seeing a double one. Oh no that's for the hot well no that is that looks like for the matchbox track i don't remember seeing a double one like that on anything but maybe there there have been i just haven't been paying attention um, but I do like that sewer lid. I think that's new. Even if it's not, I still like it. Um, this set looks awesome. There's, oh, stop. There is a lot of detail, a lot of good parts on it. Uh, I like that the sound box, they, um, like kind of disguised the sound box. There is other piles of hay stacked up in the corner. Um, just a really nice set overall. I'm very pleased with this set. If this is the route, like the way 2024 is going to go with the action driver sets, this could be a good year. So besides that other set that we can't figure out what it is on the side of the box, so far this has been excellent. So I'm, I'm really pumped about this one. This is such an awesome set. I definitely will be buying more of these. And I'm going to play with this a little bit more too to see if, because like when I move it with my hand, it's pretty, do you, maybe do you snap the tractor in? I don't know. Let me see. I don't know. I don't think so, right? I don't think so. Yeah, it just, it works really well by hand, but when you put the tractor in there, you kind of got to drive over the little humps here. So it works a little bit differently. Um, but overall, this set is awesome. Very nice for $25 or whatever plus tax. Great set. Over a foot of play space, ton of moving parts, two sound haptic buttons, um, just a lot of play space. They have a lot of extra stuff. Oh, this actually spins too. Look at that. Man, Matchbox is, oh, I love Matchbox. Like they've done such a good job with this. Moving parts all over the place. The hay bales, just a really, really, really nice set. So let me know what you think of this in the comments. This is the 2024 Matchbox Action Driver Farm Adventure set. So again, be on the lookout for more of these as soon as they drop more. I know a couple people sent me a preview of another truck based set. That's like a tow truck, just like the excavator hub truck I did a video on. Um, I will get that one too, but those are a little bit different because they are not like play base style like this. They are trucks, they're standalone. Um, but this set is awesome. I'm, I'm so happy with this. It's really, really cool. Especially since more, uh, a lot of the farm style toys, whether they're Ertl or DCP or whatever brand, they are usually very expensive. So this this is so cool to have a high quality, you know, nicely working set that combines with other sets in a retail space for a good price. So highly suggest this set. I, I love this. I'm definitely going to buy my nephew one as a collector. I'm, I'm going to buy more and try to do some diorama stuff with it, but I'm happy with this. This is, this is super rad. So let me know what you think of this in the comments. I will link all my action driver playlists in the comments or in the description as well. 
So if you want to see any of them, all the way back to the very first gas station, to the International Pizza Hut, FedEx, whatever you want to see, I have them all. I've done builds on all of them. If you lost your instructions, want to see the sticker sheets, whatever, check out the link below. And also the link to all my socials and stuff are down below as well. So I really appreciate you watching. This is Sam64 Wheels. Like and subscribe as always, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.